could, we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us. Then we'd lift them up and give them back to you. join us today for our Bible story. For today, I would like you to read from 1 Samuel chapter 7. Okay, so please read, pause this video, read the Bible and come back. Did you read the Bible? Yes. 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 Good job. Let's see our keywords. Please repeat after me. Ark of the Covenant. Ark of the Covenant. To worship. To worship. Idol. Idol. To punish. To punish. Don't forget. Don't forget. Your tears. Your tears. His grace. His grace. Greatness. Greatness. All right. Now we are going to pray. Pray. I fold my hands. I fold my hands. I bow my head. I bow my head. I close my eyes. I close my eyes. And pray. And pray. Thank you for the words you give. They help me learn how I should live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good job. Now. What do I have here? A photo album. A photo album. It's full of photos. Let's see. It's fun to look through photos sometimes. Oh, I can see Ina taking her first steps. And here, I can see Jeremiah on his first day of school. Wow, you guys grew so much since then. 
photos are very good for us to remember and not forget the past. Okay? Now, in today's Bible lesson, Bible story, we are going to learn how it's important to not forget the past so that we can look to the future with confidence and hope and stronger faith. Okay? So it's important to not forget the past so we can have strength and hope for the future. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you remember that? Okay? Remember, I'm going to ask you now let's see our Bible story. Our Bible story starts with a battle. This is a battle between the Philistines and the Israelites. Israelites, the Israelites, God's people. The Philistines defeated Israel in battle. This is the time when there was no king in Israel, but there was one prophet leading the people of Israel and his name is Samuel mm -hmm. and we've heard about him right not long ago now what happened in the battle the Philistines captured the Ark of the Covenant the Ark was captured by the Philistines and the Philistines carried the Ark from one city to another and then in one city they even put the ark in their temple, idol temple. The idol's name is Dagon or Dagon. And what happened in the morning, the Philistines saw that their idol statue, Dagon statue, was broken on the floor before the Ark of the Covenant. They must have been so worried and afraid, right? So they didn't want to keep the Ark of the Covenant there. They sent it away to another city and then to another city. And nobody on their land wanted to keep the Ark of the Covenant there. Why? Because God punished the Philistines everywhere the Ark went. God punished the Philistines with plagues. They were getting very sick. They were terrified. So they decided they will send away the Ark of the Covenant. Where? Israel. To the Israelites. Back where it belongs. So they put the Ark in a cart. And the Philistines sent the Ark back to Israel. The Ark is a very sacred object. They could not just handle it what, however whatever they wanted they had to take very good care of it but the Ark of the Covenant was in Eleazar's house for 20 years that's a long time right? Mm -hmm. a long time for 20 years meanwhile the people of Israel continued to worship idols was God pleased with them worshipping idols? No, no, no way. God must have been very sad. And God punished, punished them. them. How did God punish his people? God allowed the Philistines to defeat them. The Philistines defeated the Israelites again. This time the Israelites must have cried with big tears under the um, harsh treatment of the Philistines. Oh, they had tough lives, right? It took them a while and then they decided something. They went to see Samuel. Samuel. They went to Samuel to ask for help. What shall we do? Tell us. We want to get rid of our enemy. And Samuel told them exactly what they should do. Samuel said, turn back to God and obey him only. Obey God. And Samuel said, if you want to turn back to God, get rid of your idols. Cut them down, all of them, all over the land. No more idols. And Samuel gathered 
collected the paper at a uh, place named Mizpah. And there he continued teaching them and he brought sacrifices to the Lord. And while the people listened, they responded and in one voice they said, We have sinned against God. They recognized they have sinned and they asked for forgiveness this time. They cried big tears of repentance. They cried before the Lord and they said, Forgive us, Lord. And? God listened. God, God listened. Listen. But you know, while they were there asking for forgiveness, the Philistines attacked. Because the Philistines thought the people are together to come and fight against them. So the Philistines gathered their forces and tried to attack them. And right there, Samuel prayed. And he prayed. And the whole of Israel prayed. And God listened. God oh, sent a storm with, with terrible lightning and thunder. It was frightening. It was so frightening that the Philistines panicked. The Israelites chased them away and they had great victory against their enemy. This is how God listened to their prayer. Now the story goes on. In that place where the ark, do you remember the ark was captured by the Philistines some time ago? In that exact place where the ark was captured some time ago by the Philistines, uh, Samuel got a stone, big stone, and he put it up. And oh, the, the name of that place is Ebenezer. Can you say that with me? Ebenezer. Ebenezer. That's how that place is named, Ebenezer. And Samuel said, This stone here is for you, Israel, to remember and not forget how God saved you. How God or the Lord has helped us this far. Okay? This stone here is a monument for you to remember and not forget. Okay? And there again they prayed and worshiped the Lord. Now, because all Bible stories teach us lesson. We are going to learn. Yes, we are going to learn. Let's learn. Let's see what lessons can we have from here. Now, do you remember what this stone was for? for what the, was it for? For Israel. To? To remember. And not forget. forget. Not forget. What were they supposed to remember? Just like us, we have our photo albums to remember and many other ways that help us remember. For them, they had this big monument to remember. What were they supposed to remember? Remember that one day they were in big trouble and they shed big tears. That's what they were supposed to remember. Remember that once you ask God to forgive you and God listened, right? So our lesson for today is that we should also remember and not forget our tears from the past okay it's good it's not easy it's not fun but it's a very good lesson for us can you say that with me don't forget don't forget your tears, your tears. don't forget when you were weak and sinful and you asked god to forgive you don't forget that okay it's good it's good to remember because there's some something else that follows. What comes after that? What happened here in these pictures? What do you see? Sa God listened. Then God listened and, and God sent and a, and sent a storm. A storm, a terrible storm, and the enemies they scared. They, they got scared, scared and they they ran away, right? So you remember you cried for help. You cried for God to forgive you. And then you remember God listened and God gave you victory. So this is sec lesson number two. You remember that God helped you this far. Don't forget His, his 
Great. Great. So that's the number one. Don't forget. Don't tears. Your tears. Lesson number two. Don't, Don't forget, forget his grace. grace. He helped you. He had a lot of grace and helped you. Now, do you remember I was telling you in the beginning? When we remember the past, we can look towards the future, future with great Passion. Passion. Mm, confidence, I confidence. said, and hope, hope and, and, trust. and trust and faith in God. So it's important to not forget the past so we, we can be excited about the, the future. future. So my last lesson is, oh, I will share with you some Bible verses. In 1 John 1, 9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is how God listens to my prayer of repentance. He cleanses me. Okay? He forgives. And then, Acts 3.19 Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. What will God bring? To us, when we times of refreshing. Times of refreshing. Refreshing. refreshing, refreshing. That's what God has prepared for us. So, lesson number three: we remember, we do not forget, forget the, past. the past, so we can be excited about the, the future. future. So, in the future, we expect God's greatness, great things to happen for us. We expect that because we know. In the future, God was faithful. God listened. God forgave me. Okay? God saved me. We expect God to work great things for us in the future. Okay? Okay? This was a monument for the Israelites. We have our own um, ways to remember, but it's important. Remember, do not forget. Do not forget. And have faith. Mm -hmm. And trust, and trust and hope, and hope for, the for the future. So we are going to pray. pray. I fold my hands. I bow my head. I close my eyes and pray. Dear God, we thank you because we cried and we asked for your forgiveness. And you listened. And you listen. We thank you, thank you because you forgave us. And we are excited to see great things in the future. We expect greatness in the future. We worship you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, we hope you will all stay strong and healthy. And we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.